ancient pyramids, most of us visualize the Egyptians and their amazing structures at Giza. However, some 12,000 kilometers away, another civilization was also prolific in constructing incredible pyramids of their own. The Mayan people lived in what is known as Mesoamerica, which is the modern-day southern Mexico and Central America. The Mayan civilization took hold in approximately 2,500 BC, and they thrived for thousands of years, until around 900 AD. The Mayans had a highly advanced society that was innovative in agriculture and art, way ahead of their time in mathematics and remarkably advanced in architecture. And no monuments were more spectacular than their pyramids. Some of them stood over 60 meters in height, jutting out from the thick jungle like some other, some kind of otherworldly creation. Just as in Egypt, Mayan pyramids were constructed for religious purposes. Their design and use differed slightly from those on the banks of the Nile. Most of them were built around 300 and 900 AD, when the Mayan Empire was at its peak. They've been found all over the former Mayan Empire, and can still be seen today in all their glory. Southern Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Western Honduras, and El Salvador are among the places that proudly boast these superb feats of architecture. Although their paths never crossed, it's not hard to see how these two civilizations both came up with the idea of pyramids as a testament to their gods and rulers. Both the Mayans and the Egyptians were highly skilled in building elaborate structures because they had the necessary physics and know-how and that was necessary to do so. They realized that the best way to create a high-reaching monument was to use pyramid designs. Pyramids have wide, stable bases that can support further layers being added on top as long as the next levels are progressively smaller. The pyramids weren't identical. The Mayan pyramids tended to be smaller in height, steeper, and many had flat roofs instead of pointed ones. The distinctive flat roofs were to allow Mayan priests to perform religious rituals to the gods on top of the pyramids. The belief was that the closer they got to the gods, the more impactful the ceremonies. This was in contrast to the Egyptian pyramids, which were largely built as monuments in which to bury pharaohs. Mayan pyramids with flat roofs acted as temples. Steps were carved all the way to the top so that priests could pray and make offerings to the gods. The pyramids were distinctive, with steps leading up from all sides. The pyramid surroundings were decorated with monuments and religious carvings, which included geometric shapes and serpents. The Mayan fascination with geometric precision was based on their close relationship with nature. They studied their natural surroundings intensely, paid careful attention to how various structures were formed. This included not only their immediate physical environment, but also up in space. The Mayans learned to coordinate the complicated movements of planets with Earth, enabling them to create calendars and develop an incredibly advanced knowledge of mathematics. Many of their pyramids had exactly 365 steps, which were the number of days in a Mayan calendar year. This understanding and appreciation of mathematical principles was demonstrated in their pyramids. Expertly designed, geometrically perfect, and built to function within the surrounding landscapes. The more significant pyramids, such as the most famous El Castillo in Mexico, was also built to physically align with the solstices and equinoxes. Some of their pyramids had steps that were impossibly steep to climb. These were funerary pyramids that functioned as tombs, which were very similar to those in Egypt. The steep stairs on pyramid walls were designed as such to prevent people from climbing up. Rulers were buried inside of the pyramids with extravagant offerings of pottery, jewels, and gold. The common theme on Mayan pottery and pyramid walls was the rattlesnake. The snakes were revered in Mayan culture because they were thought to represent a connection between the heavens and mortal life. The shedding of their skin was seen as evidence of rebirth and an afterlife. The Mayans were also obsessed with the geometrical patterns on snakeskins. The Yucatan rattlesnake was particularly idolized and portrayed on countless monuments, artifacts, and carvings. So how were these remarkably precise pyramids even constructed? As exciting as it is to imagine having extraterrestrial assistance, the Mayans did it all on their own, with good old-fashioned grit, spit, and determination. They used whatever suitable materials that they could find. This included limestone, sandstone, and volcanic rocks. These materials were sourced from quarries, where they were transported to the construction sites and broken down into smaller, more manageable blocks. Huge chunks of rock were moved from quarries to 
pyramid sites by several innovative methods. One was to slowly roll a boulder along logs of wood, which acted like train tracks. We can only imagine how exerting and physically draining this would have been. However, the Mayans were incredibly purposeful people, and pyramid construction was one of the most spiritual activities in their lives. It would have given them immense pride to be involved in such projects. So rolling massive limestone boulders through jungles was actually something people aspired towards. They also used rafts to ship larger pieces of rock along the many rivers running through southern Mexico and Central America. Once the raw materials arrived at the pyramid construction sites, they were cut down into blocks of varying sizes. These blocks were cut using stone tools. While the Mayans didn't have metal, they were able to craft highly effective hammers and chisels from hard stones like flint. They burned lime to create cement and concrete, which was used as mortar to keep the stones in place. When the time came to build the new pyramid, the Mayans would often build up one over top of the existing ones. Archaeologists have discovered pyramids within pyramids throughout Central America and southern Mexico, resembling a type of ancient Russian doll, the Matryoshka dolls, I believe. Today, we can see and examine many of these magnificent structures. The El Castillo Pyramid at the ancient Chichen Itza is visited by millions of people every year. Each of the four sides has 91 steps leading up to the top. If we add up all of these with the final platform, we get a perfect 365 steps, fitting in neatly with the Mayan infatuation with symmetry and mathematics. Other notable pyramids include the mighty Tikal Temple in Guatemala. Tikal was one of the largest cities in the Mayan Empire, and the 55-meter-high ancient temple surrounded by statues is as awe-inspiring as you could imagine. Observing the Mayan pyramids gives us fascinating insights as to how truly advanced some of these ancient civilizations were. The Mayans grasped complex mathematics and geometrical formulas far earlier than most other societies around the world. They were beautifully in touch with the natural world around them, and they had an excellent understanding of astronomy and the movements of the sun and the moon. Their architectural achievements can also serve as a healthy reminder for us today. If faced with seemingly impossible tasks, we only need to look at the Mayan pyramids and realize what people can do. You know? Or is that a bit not on the nose? Well, whatever. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.